Hey everybody, Prince's friend here. So I'm driving. Uh, I got home uh, last night and crashed, so I didn't actually get around to making the um, the day four recap video. But um, since I'm driving around like crazy today, I have tons of errands to do uh, on my first day back from Paisley. Um, I thought I'd go ahead and just give you guys kind of my recap of day four. And the reason I'm like, you know, okay doing it from the car is because it's ultimately, it's pretty simple. Um, so I woke up and had some breakfast, got shuttled to the, um, to the Paisley Park, obviously the place. And um, the first thing that was actually kind of interesting and kind of funny is that a friend of mine said, hey, bring me back a shirt. And I said, cool, I'll totally do that. So I was looking for a good shirt for, for her and uh, I wanted a, an extra shirt. I had already bought a Celebration 2018 shirt, but I was like, I kind of want, I kind of want one more. I want one more shirt, so let's see what I can get, because you know me, you know me, you've seen my channel, I like lots of different shirts. So, uh, I picked up two that were really cool. They were like, um, they, they said uh, 88 on the back, and they had like prints down the front, and they were really cool looking. If anybody who was there, um, definitely got to see those, and you'll see it in future videos, obviously. But um, I didn't pay close attention to the fact that they were, um, exclusive, like, premium, uh, designs, apparently, because I was like, cool, yeah, let me grab one for me, one for her, and done, and then I went up to the counter, and I saw that all the rest of the shirts were, like, $25, so I went up there, and I was like, cool, yeah, throw, the, throw both of these on there, and the lady's like, all right, it's $105, and I'm like, wait, what? I was like, I mean, I mean, I already gave you my card, I guess go ahead and run it. <laughs> But it was one of those like, oh gosh, kind of moments. Like, yeah, you know, so I, I, I let my friend know. I was like, you know, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Jess. Love you. Um, so there was that. So then I got to actually Paisley and, um, and that was pretty cool. So I got there um, just, just, just a little bit late, of course, because um, I, I like to dilly dally. Uh, there was this really cool, and I, and I didn't catch her name, and it, and it sucks now, but there was. Um, there was a, a girl there that had some uh, red hair and it always seemed like um, every time I was getting my phone put in a slip or taken out of a slip it was her uh, so um, we kind of had a fun back and forth on Friday so I, I or yesterday so I kept trying to I kept trying to make it so that it was her who took my phone out and in because you know I didn't feel I didn't want to cheat on her um, so uh, so that was that was kind of fun but yeah so there was the F deluxe uh, panel that was the very first thing I was super excited about that and uh, I we actually did learn a lot at least I did about how the family formed and how it broke up and you know you know their relationships throughout the years and how they kind of got back together I felt like a lot of the questions were maybe a little too Prince focused I mean I know that that's why everybody's there but you know we were talking to F Deluxe we could have asked them I don't know a couple of X, X F Deluxe questions I don't know maybe I'm just maybe it's just me but I like to know about the person who I'm actually talking to and not just asking them questions about Prince like, I want to ask them questions about Prince, too. But, you know, I think it's good to know the person as well. I don't know. Maybe I'm weird. Uh, I felt really good about being able to interview Jelly Bean Johnson, though, on Thursday. Because at the panel on Sunday, uh, I think he said all of maybe ten words. Just none of the questions really came to him. Like, And actually, most of the, most of the questions that did go to him were... Oh, so you were in the time. Well, you know, give it up for the time, everybody. So what was it like being in the time? And, you know, blah, blah, blah. And the time was what got you into the family, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, moving on. Let's talk to Eric. You know, and it was just like, like, you didn't even ask him anything about F Deluxe. You just asked him about the time. And it just didn't make any sense to me. I'm sorry. So I'm glad that I got to interview him at least. Maybe they'll bring me on as an interviewer next year because <laughs> not not to stroke my own ego here but I, I don't know I feel like I could probably do a pretty good job by moderating one of those um one of those panels I think that I I think I could I don't know we'll see um after that um we went and had a um the the name of the panel was iconography which I was thinking that it was going to be a discussion about the symbology and stuff like that that Prince used <coughs> so unprofessional of me, but uh, it was actually about 
uh, for photography. So they could have just called it photography, not iconography, but whatever. Um, and they talked. We talked to two uh, two photographers. One name. One was named Steve Park, and the other one was something else that I can't remember because it was a, an Italian name. <coughs> but um, and I will completely remember and put it down in the description because <laughs> I think it's important because he was a really cool guy I actually ended up talking with him afterwards I just can't remember his name off the top of my head right now while I'm driving um, but anyway they kind of went through like their pictures that they took in their eras with Prince and like the way that he kind of worked and stuff like that and I won't give away mo many of their stories but um, it was a it was a pretty good panel I, I enjoyed it and it was very informative it was slightly dry um, but I don't mind that. I like British humor because I like dry humor. I like dry discussions. It, everything doesn't have to be super flashy. Then we had lunch, which was cool. I got to finally take that picture with the group that I had been hanging out with all weekend. Um, and um, so, you know, thank you to Amber and Vanessa and Elder who kind of adopted me and um, made me their friend. So um, and we also got to meet um, a woman named Willow, and uh, from afar, we were like, is that Ingrid Chavez? I wasn't sure, but it wasn't. It was Willow, and I was like, Willow, like, do we know you from somewhere? She's like, I'm a friend of Prince's, and I was like, okay, cool. Well, I mean, nice to meet you. Like, you seem very awesome, and she does. Uh, I hope I can be her friend. She just seemed just genuinely cool. Um, when I went to the princevault.com, uh, I looked it up, and the only reference to someone named Willow was as the voice on the Gold Nigga album that is um, the one that, the female voice kind of opposite Tony M. And I'm like, oh, wow, that was her. Uh, that's so cool. I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. So, um, you know, she said she was going to look me up. Willow, better look me up. I, I would love to talk with you more. So then... Um, after lunch, we came back for the dance panel, and I heard that on previous days it was Maite and one of the twins, uh, but this one was actually just Maite, and uh, it was moderated by Wally, uh, Wally Safford, who was basically there to, like, he was like, hey, no, no personal questions, we're going to talk about dance and, and stuff like that, so, like, basically he was there kind of as a bouncer, like, he was ready to bounce somebody if they stepped over the line, which I was like, you know what, respect. Um, you know, I know you guys may not know this, but, like, Maite is, like, she's, she's my thing, like, I actually really like Maite. Um, you know, I got into Prince, uh, again, from Graffiti Bridge in 1990, um, and then just, you know, two years later, you know, there was Maite introducing Maite, which for people who had been with Prince from the very beginning, it's like, whoa, who's this? You know, but for me, she was the fixture, you know, she was, um, Maite is the thing that when I think of Prince, I think of Maite and that's just, I just do because they are. They are together in my brain. There is no separating them. And I'm on a bumpy road and I apologize. So I really like her. Uh, I actually read her book and it was amazing. So they, she didn't even speak at the beginning. They went straight to Q&A and they said, hey, anybody who wants to stand up and ask a question, go ahead. So I stood up and I asked a question. Um, my question was, I asked her, you know, hey, um, I actually read her book and she told a really fun story about stage diving. Um, so I asked her to recount that one for the rest of the crowd because, um, I thought it was a really fun story and I think everybody would kind of get a kick out of it. So, um, so she did. And then, uh, it got to a point where like nobody had any other questions and I'm like, well, uh, I guess I'll get up and ask another question. So I asked her another question. Um, but you know, I got to... After the panel was over, I got to actually kind of give her a hug and I got to say hi and just tell her how much I appreciated her kind of being in my life. Um, and I think that that was really cool. And, you know, maybe one day I'll get that interview. But even if I don't, I actually did get to meet her in person. And I thought that that was very, very cool. Um, and then the last thing was the F Deluxe concert, which I got to check out a few songs from. And then... Um, 
yeah, and then I had to go. I had to leave early. It sucked because I was really excited to see F Deluxe. And then I had to leave early uh, to catch my flight. Otherwise, I was going to miss my flight. But I did put on, um, I did put on uh, Live and Lit, which is their live album. Uh, if anybody doesn't have that, you should go pick it up. Uh, and I did listen to that uh, in the taxi and at the airport until it was over. And then um, I was like, this is just as good, I guess. I would have loved to have seen them do it all live. But um, the fact that I actually got to meet Susanna and I got to meet Jelly Bean makes the, it makes the performance even more special and even more heartbreaking that I missed it. So, um, but that was basically Sunday and then I left. Uh, oh, so the security, not guard, I was corrected. Um, he came over and he's like, yeah, you know, like, I really like what you do. He's like, I don't even mess around with, uh, with YouTube. I'm talking, if you watched the last video, one of the security people actually did know me. And apparently he watched my other video because I called him a security guard in the other video and he came over. He's like, I'm not really a guard, I'm just security. And I'm like, all right, all right, I'll, I'll get it right. I'll get the terminology right. Um, but he came over and, um... You know, like we we talked a little bit, and like he would, he was just so cool and just so down to earth. So, um, you know, it's it, and and I noticed that like as I was going down like the halls and stuff, I had more and more people kind of like, oh hey man, I just want to let you know I watch your videos and I love them. And there was just so much love. There was so much love in general. They just that was being thrown around to just everybody. But um, I think I felt a specialness in the love because because I've I've put myself out there a little bit more than what others have um and to know that I could walk into Paisley and people knew who I was when I'm the one coming there to learn you know it it's but people know me it's 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 just weird but um I think that the biggest thing for me was at the end was when um they said um thank you for honoring us with your by coming. I was like, like it, it, it shocked me. I was not prepared to be thanked in that way for me coming there. I, I don't know. It's all very, it's all very just overwhelming and also very amazing. It was, it was, it was so worth it the whole weekend um, and, and this is just the last, this is the, the fourth video of the daily things. And I'm actually going to do kind of an overall assessment of a review of the entire celebration 2018. Um, maybe in a few days after I recover a little bit more, I'm so tired right now. Um, but, uh, I did get to, you know, I got to my, uh, I got to my plane on time and I came home and I crashed. So, um, anyway, thank you so much for watching and following along on uh, my journey at Celebration 2018. And I hope that uh, you will continue being here. And if you haven't subscribed, definitely make sure that you do, because uh, I would love to continue these conversations. And uh, yeah, I have a lot of really cool videos coming at you soon, including those interviews that I did this weekend. So thank you so much, and may you live to see the dawn.